What is up, man? Welcome to another episode on LLC TV. I'm your host, JT, JTown32. If you want to follow me on any of the social sites, welcome to the sneaker office. And uh, I wanted to get into something that may be a little early. We still have about three weeks left in the year. But just looking at the release calendar, unless something uh, crazy pops up, you know, like an off-white uh, four uh, in the bread colorway or... Um, the Grinches, which is rumored, the Kobe 6 Grinches, which is rumored to come out. I don't see anything that might crack what I'm going to call a top five. So I know a lot of times we do a top 10 and, you know, I think with the top 10, it just leaves a lot of leeway, a lot of room, a lot of space to uh, add more than uh, particularly what should be. I'm still going to add a few more shoes that, uh, that, that what should be in, in the list, but I'm going to do a top five of, I guess, just sneaker pickups for the year now. Majority of these, I believe all of them are uh, released or did release in 2020. And it's crazy to think 2020 has been like a heck of a year, right? Like, it's been whirlwind, man. So from the very beginning, it's been up, it's been down, it's been up, it's been down. So it's just been crazy to kind of deal with. But all in all, I think from a sneaker standpoint, it has still been pretty good. Um, you know, obviously, the the hardest part about this uh, sneaker thing is even getting the shoes nowadays, especially if there is a lot of hype behind it. But, you know, if you were able to get lucky, which I've been able to get, you know, lucky this year, probably this year, uh, well, more so than previous years, but that's just because um, now I have more access to uh, knowing what's going on or knowing who's releasing the shoes so hopefully you all are able to do that as well so let's go ahead and uh get into my list of the these are my cops right so all of this is stuff that i have if i don't have it it's not in my list just because i don't have it to even show it to you so let's start with our honorable mentions first on the honorable mention is going to be this joint here this uh lebron 7 mvp now if you know, you know when this uh, originally was shown and when we originally seen this shoe, I think it was a small release, a very, very small release, if a release at any. This might be the first time. I think this is the first time that it's obviously, obviously available to the public, the general public. So uh, believe it or not, these shoes are not like reselling crazy or anything like that. But what this shoe did was uh these are one of the shoes that obviously put lebron sneaker over the top uh it didn't culminate until actually the south beach ace but this is one of those shoes where a lot of people say okay i gotta start you know paying attention to lebron shoes so the lebron mvp uh seven another honorable mention shoe is gonna be this here i think personally i think this is the best one of the year from a colorway and quality standpoint. Now, I know that's hard to say. We got a lot of ones this year, but none of them have had this quality. None of the ones that have released this year have this quality. Uh, and even the story, you know, this shoe is what came out what, 19, 20 years ago. And uh, this is very remin reminiscent of its original release. I think uh, one of the few Jordans with the different touch as far as the oval strings you know just little things like that and then the quality man the tumble leather on this thing was insane so have the homage 2001 to 2020 on there which i think is dope these also released in the gray colorway but to me this was the top dog another honorable mention is going to be the kiss 30 for 30 ronnie 5 30 for 30. now while i don't you know I don't have uh, all 30 colors or even, you know, out more outside of just this one. What this shoe means, because if you have been following Kid and Ronnie for a long time, this shoe means a lot. This shoe means a lot because you, that means you, you know about, uh, you know, the Kif colorways and the Kif clothing and the shoes, the gel like threes that they put out. So this has to be on an honorable mention list at the very least, just because uh, of what it symbolizes for Ronnie and Kith and those who have been following them for a long time, the Palette Battleship colorway for me. And last but not least, the Mocha One. <laughs> the Mocha One is without a doubt 
uh, a shoe that has to be mentioned in 2020 because this is probably one of the tougher releases to get without being tough because they released a ton of places. I've had quite a few pairs, but this definitely brought the hype out. And it's, um, you know, I guess it's silhouette. Obviously, the one is always going to be iconic, but the colorway being close to the Travis Scott ones uh, drove people insane, in my opinion. So the Mocha one has to be on the list, whether it's in the top five or honorable mention or your top ten. But this shoe has to be on the list just because of everything that it brought to, um, I guess you would say, the sneaker world. All right, so that rounds out what we have for our honorable mention. There are tons of other shoes that I could have, you know, put on. I guess like the Reverse Bread Ones. Um, Flint 13s came back out after a 10-year hiatus. Um, you know, just a lot of stuff, man. Even to me, like, you know, I love Greedy. So the Greedy uh, Air Maxes, so those, a lot of stuff that I could have put on here. But we don't want to, you know, kind of put too much on you. We want to make it tough and uh, make it a conversation piece. So let's go ahead and jump into my top five. Boom, so at number five for me is gonna be this A Mama Near friends and family joint that I was able to purchase. Now, I know everyone didn't have access to this, um, but you had an opportunity. And for me, uh, this black colorway. I remember seeing the original version in 2019 and then actually seeing pictures of this saying this is the one that I wanted and uh, I like to give my Air Forces a size down or a half size down and when I got the original lows I had to get a 10 when I got these I was able to get my size down nine and a half I've actually already worn these uh, and had a cold fit with it so uh, the A Mama Near. This shoe, the hand wash code, um, was a def definitely a special moment in Atlanta. I still re wish the release was a little bit different because it just was hard to, to get, man. But this was a special moment, especially in Atlanta when, you know, we're trying to get the shoes. And uh, I think me and my homie, we met up at like five, six in the morning at, across the street from A Ma. And, you know, it was just madness throughout the day all pairs were numbered both the lows and the highs and then they had this pair in, in the cut so not a lot of people knew about their friends and family joints these were numbered out of 989 989 which is the area code in which where i'm from so that's pretty dope to me i had pair 579 out of 989 uh, these were attained because uh, if a mama near they usually hope uh, what they call they host what they call free game sessions and if you were to attend a free game session as well as, as, well as tag friends on Instagram and um, you know like your size and just crazy stuff like that then you had a chance to uh, purchase these and thankfully enough um, I was selected to purchase these and it's obviously one of uh, my favorite pairs just from the love um, like I said, I already rocked them. I haven't flipped them with the shoestrings yet, but I will be doing that as well. So, number five for me, Hand Wash Cold Friends and Family Edition from A Mama Near. Appreciate that, y'all. At number four comes these New Balances from Amy Leon Door, uh, the A27s, which they released in three different colorways, a cream colorway, a yellow colorway, and then a red colorway. My favorite was the cream. I did not get those. Uh, didn't get the reds either, so I got the yellows. Obviously, we got these from In In Clothing. Thankfully, they looked out for me, and the color pattern on these A27 just hits, man. We got different shoe strings as well to go with it, but you can see the greens, the reds, the blues, uh, and then the 3M hits on the shoe. Amy Leon Door, they usually kill their collabs anyway, but this is without a doubt one of my favorites. So, uh, this definitely had to make the list as far as a uh, top five for me. So this is the number four shoe on the list. This just gotta be, has to be, man. The number four shoe on the list, A27's New Balance, Hang Leon Door. All right, so there we go. Now we get to number three. This is kind of where it gets tricky because any one of these shoes could be number one in my opinion. 
but uh, obviously that's not what we are going to do. That's not what we're going to do. So number three, number three for me is the off-white Jordan four. Number three for me is the off-white Jordan four. Uh, the only reason that I'm gonna be honest, the only reason this shoe is number three for me is because I made a mistake and bought it in the wrong size. This is a size 10 in women's, which is only an eight and a half in men's. Now I am in the process right now of getting the switch done. So uh, I should have that switch completed shortly. And I hope at that point, maybe I can uh, actually wear them. But this shoe right here is one of the cleanest shoes that you will ever see. The Jordan 4 silhouette is, in my opinion, the best silhouette. It is my favorite without a doubt. But um, this is a bad boy right here. Um, I came from Virgil and the team. They snapped on these. And the Jumpman team, they snapped on these. I hate that I do not have this in my size. I hate that I don't have this in my size. Um, but these are these are some bad boys. These are some bad boys. And, and because of the colorway being that, you know, that tan, that cream, whatever you want to call it, you can wear this with anything. You can wear this with anything. And um, just hopes that the deal that I have in place, I hope that it all goes through pretty smoothly so I can have these uh, back in my hand in my size and I can uh, rock them. Obviously, going into the winter, I probably won't wear them, but you never know. These joints are cold. These are are really really good this is a really good shoe uh bread colorway coming they said it was coming at the end of the year i said spring of 2021 they said it would come at the end of the year but we will see number three on my list at number two on the list is going to be the chunky donkey nike sb times ben and jerry's now this shoe is uh damn good this is a damn good shoe it probably could be number one on a lot of people's list um this shoe actually was one of the toughest if not the toughest shoe to get this year just being honest the hype surrounding it and you know the hype surrounding the ben and jerry's the different textures on the shoe you know you have your leathers then you have you know your cow hair or whatever you want to call it fox fur um you know you have the Nike swoosh sign being freaked with the ice cream drippings. You got the uh, rainbow insoles and that perfect yellow Nike hit. And to top it off, you get the sole, the green sole. And it lets you know that this is a Ben and Jerry's Times Nike SB collab right there on the sole of the shoe. And you got green laces if you want to freak it. Um, the only thing, obviously, this isn't an easy wear. Like, this, this just isn't an easy wear. What I would do for something, a shoe like this typically is I wear a base color outfit. So the color will probably be, you know, the same pan to let, pan to, uh, to top. It'll be the same. And then I'll let the shoes do the talking for me at that point. Um, so this isn't the easiest wear, but this is definitely um, something that brought every, everybody out. This SB along with the uh, Travis Scott SB, obviously, change the minds of everybody but this sb was there you know very reminiscent to how sb used to release with different concepts and different things like that without the necessary travis scott you know name tag associated with it these are probably my second these are my third favorite sbs that have released this year truth be told it is, it is what it is my my favorite sbs that released this year are the strange loves Without a doubt, the strange loves, and then second is that J Pack Chicago. Uh, I'm actually hunting for the J Pack Chicago now to get that in my size and, and wear that, and then it would be these. So uh, Ben and Jerry, happy to even have them. Ben and Jerry goes number two. So number one shoe is actually a collab that obviously everybody was waiting to see and when they did see it originally they did not like it they did not like it just to truth be told the majority of people did not like the collaboration originally me from the get-go i liked the collab because i knew that for me those colorways worked they were different um and i knew i would want the shoe i would want both um i was able to get one pair so 
let's get into that. Bam, the Union collab with Jordan, the second iteration of the Union collab with Jordan, this time featuring the Air Jordan 4. This is the second Air Jordan 4 on the list. The Fire Reds could have been on my list too. I love Jordan 4s, right? Um, I got the Guala Ice, and uh, hopefully I'm going to get the Off Noors, um, but this is the Guava Ice version. And this is clean as hell, the reddish pink, um, the blue, the light blue, um, the aged yellow cream mid so uh, you can see the orange hits in the air bubble. And then that standard Jordan 4 bottom. Got the blue hit with the red Nike Air on the, on the um, tabs on the back. So this shoe, along with this counterpart that released the same day, which is the Off Noir, which is the black version with the red and blue shoe of the year. And it, it's crazy what flipped it. The only thing that flipped it is because of some stitching here and that shows that this tongue can go from this to a regular Jordan 4 tongue so it'll stick up. Obviously, uh, for me, I'm going to make sure that the, the tongue sticks up. I don't like flipping tongues. I don't like the, I don't care for the low look. I'm not going to say I, I would wear it, but I don't care for the low look. Even so, before I knew that you could flip the tongue, I still said I wanted both pairs of these. I knew I wanted both pairs and quality wise, this shit didn't, ooh, I didn't mean to cuss, but this, this shoe did not, uh, you know, it didn't, it didn't disappoint anybody. So you have your Union LA hit there. Um, obviously the eyelids and then they did a little something a little bit different with the wings where the wing is plastic all the way through usually there's a hole in that space um, this time they flipped it I've seen people kind of you know do their own iterations where they cut out this particular hole just to give it another a nice little flip to look like the original Jordan 4s but either way for me this was a banger and like I said this is number one along with the off noirs if I had the off noirs I'll be showing you both so these are my top five shoe pickups for the year. Obviously, um, there are quite a few, so uh, I could have uh, pretty much added a lot to it if I was just going off of shoes that I don't have. But because I'm only going with shoes that I do have, this is what I have. And uh, I think my bag is pretty clean, man. I think my bag is pretty clean. What do you think about my top five? I know a lot of people want to do top tens, but what do you think about my top five? What am I missing? You know, what am I missing? What would you put on your list? Let me know. As always, I appreciate the love and uh, following LLC TV. Uh, anything you want to bring to the table, leave in the comments. Follow From the Soul Podcast as well. I'm your host, JTJTown32. Like, share, subscribe. And just like that, we will be back.